Archaeologists in Egypt have opened an ancient mummy coffin that was sealed 2,500 years ago. The coffin was opened in front of a live audience, and it was a part of a collection of 59 well-preserved and sealed wooden coffins. These coffins contained the bodies of ancient Egyptian priests who were buried some 2,500 years ago. The messages of these priests were important to their culture, and now scientists want to know what these priests sounded like as they spoke to their people. So. Would it be possible to recreate their voices using modern day technology? Doing so would allow us to have deeper insights and connections to civilizations from the past and add a new layer of immersion for those looking to learn about history. As it turns out, we may be able to do exactly that. A team of researchers has been able to recreate the voice of a mummy. The mummified body belongs to Nes Yamun. He was an Egyptian priest, incense bearer, and scribe at the Egyptian temple complex at Karnak in Thebes. He worked during the reign of the pharaoh Ramses XI, one of the most important leaders of ancient Egypt. Nes Yamun is one of the most studied mummies in the world. The excellent mummification process of Nes Yamun preserved his throat, trachea, and much of the soft tissues of his vocal tracts even nearly 3,000 years later. This has allowed the scientists to proceed with a voice reconstruction of Nes Yamun and take all the needed measurements. Using medical scanners, they were able to build a 3D printed replica of his vocal tract. Then, they hooked it up to an electronic larynx. The sound they recreated was a single vowel sound, which is similar to the vowel you hear in the words bed or bad. <coughs> this might not sound like much, but it is still considered a breakthrough in how modern technology can help us re-experience the past. Nes Yamun sang and chanted his words of worship all his life, and so his voice plays a big part in his legacy. However, the team of scientists said that the voice reconstruction is not entirely accurate and is only an estimation of what he might have sounded like. They also said that they are unlikely to replicate a whole running speech of Nes Yamun. This is because his tongue has lost a lot of its mass three millennia later, and his soft palate is no longer present. To understand how voice reconstruction works, we need to know that everyone's voice is unique, and it is related to the size and shapes of our vocal tract resonators and articulators. The vocal tract resonators are the throat, the mouth cavity, and the nasal passages. The resonators produce a person's recognizable voice. The vocal tract articulators are the tongue, the soft palate, and the lips. The articulators produce recognizable words. The physiology of voice production is, of course, a highly complex system. But if all these features can be artificially reproduced, scientists believe that it is theoretically possible to reconstruct a person's voice. With this discovery, scientists, researchers, and museum experts agree that it conforms exactly with the ancient Egyptians' fundamental belief that to speak the name of the dead is to make them live again. But, most importantly, it has allowed them to fulfill Nes Yamun's wish that was written on his own coffin to have his voice heard in the afterlife in order to live forever. If scientists will one day be able to recreate the voice of any historical figure from the past, who would you like it to be? And what parts of the past would you like to see reconstructed? Share your thoughts in the comment section.